So a new good option of preparing 3D models in 3D printings lies on the new feature from ZBrush 4L8 and it's called Live Boolean. So let's say that we want to print this model and we want to cut it, let's say from the middle. So press X so we do not have symmetry anymore. Let's press sh Ctrl Shift. Sorry, I have this loss so selected. So let's go to rectangular again. Yeah, let's split it from here. Now let's press Ctrl Shift and go back to lasso. Ctrl Shift Alt and yeah, let's hide. So now let's press Ctrl W and again sh Ctrl Shift and let's press Ctrl W so we have just one software selected. Let's go to split and split hidden. Let's go to solo mode and uh, let's go to modify topology and let's press close holes. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back and select the legs by pressing Alt and click, go to solo mode and let's press close holes again. We can also press Ctrl W, so we make one mesh. I'm not an expert on cutting zones, so <laughs> you need to decide which one is the best for your model, depending on your 3D printing. So now let's select this uh, body of the uh, model and we can go to append. You can create your custom object, but let's say that I want to use, let's say that I want to use this cone. So let's go select the cone. We can go and add more subdivides. I want it more smooth. And I actually, let's go Control Shift, Rectangular, Control Shift, Alt. And let's delete this one and press close hold. Okay, now let's press W and drag it. We can press transparency. So we can check that we are approximately good area. Okay, awesome. I want to duplicate this one. Let's hide it for now and let's use it. This one. So let's go to legs and press this arrow. And let's, let's play along. Now let's press live boolean. For now it's inside shape but I want it invest. So let's go actually let's keep this one. Made a small mistake here and let's go to merge both of them. Let's move up this one. Hide this one unhide this one and now let's go to the arrow and live boolean. If you want you can just scale just a bit to be sure that will be fit perfectly. Now that we have this in place we can go to the body again and let's go to Boolean and make Boolean mesh so we can collapse this one inside. As you can see now, it's not collapsed. And we're going to wait 
the union remission in progress. And the new mesh can be found on a new uh, sub tool like this. We can also press Ctrl W and now we can delete this two. Okay, okay, and let's go to append and bring this back. You can also, I think you can, you don't, we won't have any problem of printing like this. But you know that this is. You can see the cone. One way of approaching this is you can go to geometry and play with Dynamesh. And now if we want to see the bottom, now you can see that this is one mesh together. Let's open all of them. I think the next step is to either decimate this object so you have lower poly. But that's it. Now you can just print it your 3D models and combine them when they are done. So happy printing, see you next time.